absolutely embarrassing. I am fuming. Absolutely fuming. Tottenham have just lost 3-0 away to Fulham at Craven Cottage. Genuinely outplayed, outworked. We were second best to everything. Big players today like Madison and Son did not turn up. What I'm more annoyed about, more than absolutely anything, is the arrogance from these players. If you haven't already, please do go down, smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. But the arrogance, the absolute arrogance from these players, turning up, chest out, posture up, shoulders out, biceps flexing, like we've already won the game. Just because we beat Aston Villa 4-0, it doesn't mean anything. If Aston Villa beat West Ham tomorrow, that win is completely irrelevant. And let's be honest, you never know with Aston Villa. They're even more consistent than we are. This is Tottenham in a nutshell. How can you beat Aston Villa 4-0 at Villa Park and our, the fans are singing Olay, we battered them, and then go in and drop an absolute disaster class at Craven Cottage? The space in the middle of the park, you could have built a flipping house. You could have built a house. Between Madison, Saar and Basuma, you could have built a house. I, 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 honestly, I am so annoyed. I am... I am so annoyed. Pathetic. Pathetic. Genuinely could have been 4, 5, maybe even 6 nil from Fulham today. Our worst performance of the season. And so many of our games this season have been fine margins. But that today, we were purely outclassed. We couldn't live with their energy levels, the passing, you know, the passing out and, and from around the back. Leno barely had to make a save. But they had more shots than us, more shots on target than us, more passes in the final third, more touches in the penalty area. If it wasn't for Vicario, genuinely, it would have been 4-5, maybe even 6 nil from Fulham today. And this is a Craven Cottage. We've been outplayed by Fulham. Genuinely. Genuinely. I, I, I'm saving. I am saving. Absolutely saving. I really am. Fuming. Like, I don't know what you guys think. Whether you're an Arsenal fan, Spurs fan, Chelsea fan, City fan, Liverpool fan, whoever you support, let me know down below because that was nothing short of an absolute embarrassment. Zero changes made. It was the exact same team that played last week against Aston Villa. So there's no excuses when it comes to, you know, personnel. Son today, bad, so many bad touches, lost the ball, spent more time, you know, making runs than he did actually getting touches. Kulazewski and Johnson today weren't really getting in the game. Madison was dealt with every time he got past a player, another player would take him out. You know, but defensively, Calvin Bassey and Tosin Adarabayo barely put a foot wrong. Leno looked comfortable. Muniz, we could not deal with Muniz's movement. Dragusin today, obviously Van der Ven normally starts at that left-sided centre-back, right? Dragusin today, whether you could say it's rusty, he barely hasn't played any football, I understand that. You know, we signed the guy in January from from Italy, from a team in Italy. Gennaro, I believe it was. He looked so rusty today. He was he was all over the place, passing the ball out, couldn't make a pass, couldn't win a header. If you look at his positioning for Fulham's second goal, it's nothing short of embarrassing. You're supposed to be a dominant threat. You're supposed to be one of the best centre-backs in the air. You're supposed to be calm, composed on the ball. Today, I saw none of that. I saw absolutely none of that. And Fulham's performance did not drop. When they took off Lukic, when they took off Awobi, when they took off Pereira, when they took off Muniz, when they brought on Raul Jimenez, when they when they brought on Harry Wilson, their performance did not drop. They carried on. We started playing with 15 minutes to go. And, and the substitutions, we brought on Richarlison with 13 minutes to go. We took off Madison probably through injury. You, with, with, when, Madison's not, when Madison and Son are not in it, are not playing well and not on it, Tottenham don't have a good game. If you watch the shape of our defensive of our back line, at one point we had we had Madison in the sense of defensive midfield role. We had the fullback so high up, and I get that with Angel, when it works, it is absolutely perfect. And last week against Aston Villa is the most ideal example of Angel you could possibly give. It was perfect, but today's result was, was you. It's night and day. It's night and day. It's night and day. You know, 
I, I, I don't like. We haven't got a game now for 14 days. That's going to sit in the back of Postecoglou's mind for a long time now, for these next 14 days. And 14 days in the football world is quite a long time. Premier League fixtures come thick and fast. But Aston Villa have been playing in Europe, have been playing in the Conference League. They're now through to the quarterfinals of the Conference League. They've already played more games than us this season than we will by the very end game of the season. But their performances aren't dropped. Yes, they got battered 4-0 last, last week, they uh, last Sunday, but they went and battered Ajax 4-0 to, to bounce back. And they'll probably go and beat West Ham tomorrow. And all that hard work, all that fantastic play we did last week against Aston Villa is now going to be irrelevant if they win tomorrow. We are currently sitting fifth in the Premier League. That probably will be enough to get us Champions League, but we need a hard look at ourselves. We've been, we've been on the end of a thumping quite a few times this season. 4-2 against Brighton, 4-1 against Chelsea, 3-0 against Fulham. We've lost games where we shouldn't have lost against, against, against you know, the likes of Wolves, the likes of West Ham, Aston Villa at home. So many of our games have been fine margin, but this, the, the performances from so many players in that game was not like Brendan Johnson was taking his man, was running at Matty Cash last week, looked creative, looked hungry. This week, the first touch was awful, weren't beating at his man. He had one chance in the first half, opened up his body, tried to wrap it into the far corner and was a poor finish. Son couldn't get in the game. He was dealt with and nullified by Adarabayo and, and Calvin Bassey. You know, I thought I thought Robertson pocketed Kulazewski the whole game. I thought he absolutely pocketed him. Like, genuinely, genuinely, right? I I I, I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. Genuinely, I don't. The inconsistency in this team, and it's not just been like this under Ange. It's been like this for a long, long time. You know, under Conte, lose to Burnley, go and beat Man City. It will be Tottenham to lose Liverpool Man City and then go and beat Arsenal. I don't, I don't understand it. Zero consistency in this team. You know, it, 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 it's absolutely insane. You think back to, you think back to the Aston Villa game. We lost 2-1 at home back in November and then go score three goals of the Etihad. Then lose 2-1 at West Ham a few days later, and then put four goals past Newcastle. Like, the inconsistency has been in this team for a long, long time, not just this season. But the performances today, Kulazewski pocketed. Brennan Johnson couldn't get a sniff. Son looked poor. Madison was nullified in the game. Probably should have, should have scored in the first half, but was nullified. And Fulham's performance in the second half got better. They scored two goals in the opening. We were 3-0 down before 60 minutes. Not good enough. Not good enough by any stretch of the imagination. Poor. Poor. And now we've got no game for 14 days. We've got Luton up next, and then we've got West... Our, our, our April fixtures, by the way. Newcastle away. Man City at home. Arsenal away. West Ham away. Our April fixtures... Are absolutely insane. Then you look at May, Liverpool, Burnley, Sheffield United. You know, we've got 10 games left of the season. And if Man United, if Man, Man United are on our towers, they're only six points behind us now. This isn't this isn't set and done that we're going to get Champions League football this year. And even if we do get Champions League football, we, we have to, we have to go out and do better than that. Because that was, that was a joke. That was an absolute joke today. I don't know what you guys make of it. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts. But I am baffled. I don't understand the performance levels from that game compared to last week. Honestly, it's... Absolutely insane, guys. But look, I'll see you all soon. Thank you all for watching. 